Real quick, I just want to say, Pork Fingerboards are back for Christmas and are available right now! Mate, this is the greatest news I've heard all day. So if you want one, head to the link in the description and pick one up. Yeah! Pork Fingerboards, available now, while stocks last. STRATEGIC ADVERTISEMENT! My skate shoes are starting to get pretty busted. I've been shoe going them and stuff, so I've been trying to expand the life as much as I can, but there's no denying that I'm going to need some new shoes soon. So anticipating this, I went and bought some new shoes. Epic shoe unboxing time. You'll never guess what kind of shoes I got. Ah, oh, yeah. These things are so sick. They're the exact same shoes that I already had. But like most people, I don't really like skating brand new shoes because they're like really stiff and it's just hard to get used to. So for these ones, I decided to do a little experiment and I'm going to just wear them around like normal shoes before I skate them. Very epic. Oh, I know, that's tight. Oh my gosh. All right, maybe we'll have better luck with the left shoe. Oh my. Brin. Hey, I put some new shoes. Also, side note, if you don't know who Cobra Man is, you should go check them out because their music's sick. And they have a cool name. We're coming to your town. Yo, is that a Lamborghini? God, no. That's not the baby. That's the devil. We've just pulled up to Bonnings Warehouse. We're at lowest price. I want to make three fingerboard mini ramps, which are replicas of the mini ramp that I made in the last video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out because it's... Sick. Sick. I need wood, paint, glue, and metal for the coping. Let's freaking do this, guys. Time to go flex on everyone at Bunnings with my brand new shoes. Hi. <laughs> they didn't have the right kind of balsa wood I needed for the surface, so we gotta go to a model shop to find that. And also I need to find coping at the model shop. Oh, damn. Check out who I pulled up next to. It's LaCroix! Just joking. If you like LaCroix, you like LaCroix. That's your opinion, but my opinion is that it's trash. And the only reason that I think it's trash isn't because it necessarily doesn't taste very good, which it, it doesn't taste that awesome, but it's because the marketing makes it look so delicious, and then you sip it and it's the most underwhelming thing you ever have. It's not gross or anything, it's just... And then I freaked it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make the construction similar to this mini ramp, but just better, hopefully. Not that this one's bad, this one's actually one of the best ones I've made, but I wanna make this one sick. I've also just worked out that I actually only have enough supplies to make two mini ramps. Now we've got the whip sorted. I picked out the wood specifically this wide because that's how tall I think the ramp should be. If we're looking at it to scale, a fingerboard which goes around this high, a skateboard goes around this high, and then there's around this much extra, which is pretty much exactly the height of the real mini ramp. So we're gonna need two pieces the same length as the coping. There we go, and that leaves us with this much wood to create three side profiles. <laughs> 49.4. Yeah, a lot of this is just measuring stuff out to make sure I have enough wood. Maps! Draw a transition on this piece of paper so then I can cut it out and trace it on the hair and there so, you know, so it's exactly the same. profile is drawn out. And the cool thing about it is I only really need to draw out one of these because I can cut out the first one and then use that to trace all of them. Work smarter, not harder. See, each gap's quite large, so that's why I bought all of these wooden sticks, which I'm gonna put in between all the gaps, like on the actual half pipe we made. So they're just gonna be running like this along the whole thing. Frames are dry, so now it's time to surface them with the balsa wood, which I'm going to do two layers of. Like I said, I 
want to try and make the look of this mini ramp as close to the real one as possible. So instead of just using whole pieces of balsa wood, which would honestly make the ramp a lot smoother and perform better, I'm going to chop them up to make them look like the sheets of plywood that we put on the actual ramp. is finished like structurally it's finished so the last thing we need to do is just sand it down a little bit and paint it and to do that we have the exact same paint that we used on the actual mini ramp hopefully this thing looks good I think it looks amazing. Transition's the only thing that turned out a bit weird just because I didn't have enough wood to make it longer. So the flat section's a bit small, but you know, I mean, for a fingerboard, it feels fine. Hell yeah, dude. All right, time to go surprise my friends. And because it's almost Christmas, I'm gonna wrap it up in a box and make it look all nice and pretty. The box isn't working, I'm just gonna wrap the ramp. Wait. It's like a tradition in sports mode, bro. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's a Christmas present. For me? From Joe. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like a present to the spot, I guess. Tres, dos, uno. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> I have a tactic just for this. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get tricks on this and the same trick on the ramp. Dang, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hey. That's what we need to be able to paint. This looks so crazy sitting on the ramp. You have to eat it. <laughs> I love because you know exactly what color we got as well. Thank you. The exact same colors. Yeah. So halal, bro. 100% halal, halal certified. Certified. <laughs> Green tick, baby. <laughs> no, nobody's gonna get that blue tick. They want their certified halal. <laughs> yeah. and then do it in real life. I reckon do one of these. Go tail sail, and then... <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Side heel flip to backside tail revert in. I've never done this trick, so. Woo. Single bounce. 
Yes! Yeah, I think those clips turned out so crazy. <laughs> like the fingerboarding with the actual skateboarding in the background. Mad trippy, my bro. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to uh, subscribe. If you subscribe, your Christmas wish will come true. Peace. I never know how to actually finish these videos. I just go, peace. Or I should finish them like those MTV videos. We're like, hey, yo, get out of my house. Have you ever seen those MTV crib videos? It's always the same. It's like, that's my house tour. Now it's time for you to leave. I'll show you the door. And then they just curb stomp you. <laughs>